At the end of a long, stressful, emotional week for Austin and the University of Texas community with an arrest in the murder of Hadika Weiser, I'm Robert Hadlock. I'm Shannon Wolfson. We are going to take you through all of today's developments. But first tonight, the Longhorn community is getting a chance to grieve together. A dance performance scheduled tonight where Hadika's classmates and fellow dancers are honoring her not far from the growing memorial to the slain freshman. The man arrested 17-year-old Mikhail Kreiner. He was reported as a runaway just two weeks ago. Police say he'd been living in an abandoned building and tried to burn items stolen from Hadika hours after she was killed. We are breaking down how police cracked this case, but first tonight, the emotional reaction at the dance department with tonight's performance. And so we offer this very meager and humble performance to say thank you to her and to her family for giving us just a little bit of time with her. KXN's Amanda Brandeis was at tonight's performance at UT and she joins us live with more on the response there. Well, that performance just wrapped up moments ago. Earlier, I had a chance to sit in and watch as those close to Hadika danced in her memory. It was nearly a full house tonight, and it was all dedicated to her, a young woman who had such a bright future on that stage. In hard times, furious dancing is required. And tonight, that's what they did. It was undeniable that she was a brilliant dancer. And she is going to be deeply, deeply missed. While the shock of what happened will fade, the sadness for many deepens. They all kind of feel, they felt vulnerable, you know, because they're here late at night. Uh, this is what they call tech week, uh, you know, a lot of late night rehearsals. And so, um, yeah, it's been a rough week. Paula Washington, whose daughter performed in the show, says they're all just doing their best to hang in. It's really been nerve-wracking, you know, just to, um, you know, to a, think of Haruka's parents and, and just your heart goes out to them. And now the team dances for Haruka, keeping her memory alive and never forgetting how she made them all feel during her time here. Now the parents I talked to here say they're so happy to be here with their children tonight and give them just a hug in these trying times. Now we've also learned there's going to be another tribute tomorrow morning for Hadika. There will be a moment of silence at the beginning of the Longhorn Run. There will also be ribbons worn in her honor. Reporting live from UT Austin, Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News.